the evil within. This are the minimum system requirements to play this game on your PC. And this was how the game was working on my PC before. It gave 20 to 25 frames per second. But after doing the steps and tweaks shown in this video, this is how the game works. It gave above 40 frames per second and was very smooth to play. So, this is low end gaming and welcome to another amazing video. As you have seen the results let's see the process and get started without wasting any time. For the step 1, we will change the in-game settings of the game. Go to graphics and click on hardware settings. Change the resolution to 800 by 600. Enable full screen and disable letterbox. Set frame lock to 60 frames per second. Field of view to zero. Now change all the other effect settings to low or disable them. After doing all the changes, apply them and play your game now. This is how the game works after the in-game settings. It was giving 60 frames per second. I hope you got a good FPS boost after doing this step. If you still watching then comment down below evil. Let's move to the next step. For this step, we will edit the config file of the game and get more FPS. For the config file, go to your PC profile folder and open save games folder. Tango game works. The evil within. Base. And open the evil within config with notepad. Now follow me and just do as I do. Scroll down and change the swap interval from minus 1 to 0. Screen grain amount to 0. Mega shadow resolution scale from 0.25 to 0.01. Now just save the file and play your game. The game gave above 60 frames per second and was very smooth to play. Hope this video helped you. See all in the evil within 2 video.